Hi guys, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your bonus read. This is for the Sagittarius New Moon Solar Eclipse that's taking place on December 3rd, December 4th, 2021. And this is for the collective. So this is for all of the zodiac signs. We're looking at the energy for the Sagittarius New Moon. I would like to say welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. It does help. Okay, so we're looking at the collective energies for the Sagittarius new moon. What does the collective have coming up for the Sagittarius new moon? which um, from what I've been seeing, guys, the energy is pretty intense. This is the last new moon of 2021. So, I mean, it is a time, guys, to say goodbye, to kiss the past goodbye, uh, to kiss 2021 goodbye and welcome the new. This is, this is a new chapter. And uh, if you are waiting for your December monthly to post, it, it they are posting right now, please bear with me. I just filmed them. So uh, I filmed them uh, just at the start of December. All right, so we're starting out with the Four of Wands. This is interesting. We have the Four of Wands and the Three of Wands. Also, guys, all the decks that I am using, they are listed below if you are interested. So we have the Four of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. What does the collective have coming up for the Sagittarius New Moon? Please stick around to the end of the reading, guys. I'm going to be pulling you several additional guidance cards. So we have the Four of Wands, the Three of Wands, we have the Empress. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I do prefer the jumpers. I tend to go until I feel the need to stop. And so we have three cards out right now. Let's see. I'd like to go for two more. What does the collective have coming up? For the Sagittarius new moon okay all right we have the five of cups it is in the reverse and we have the queen of coins so lots of divine feminine energy doesn't matter if you're a male or female uh, you could be dealing with a woman or a couple of women we do have heavy Taurus showing up here Taurus, Libra. Okay, here's the Two of Cups. Very nice. Let's see. Okay, so here's the Knight of Coins. So uh, we have lots of Earth energy. So with this being a solar eclipse, something could be leaving your life. We know that you're starting a new chapter, so it's it's time to embrace the new. Uh, it's the last month of the year, so this is a time to kind of tie up the loose ends, to finish off, you know, anything that you started prior, and to prepare yourself for the new. Uh, we do have the Two of Cups here, so a partnership uh, could be significant for many of you, whether that's romantic or not. Because for some of you, this is business. Uh, maybe significant here. Okay. So we have the Knight of Coins. We have the Five of Coins. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Star. I love this deck. Look at the star. So beautiful. Okay. Wow. Look at this. We have the Magician. Uh, you're definitely manifesting, but 
You need to have faith. You need to stay positive. You have everything you need when it comes to manifesting something new, when it comes to starting this next chapter, but you need to believe in yourself. For some of you, what I'm seeing here is you could be doubting yourself. You could be doubting another person that you're working with. I see doubts. I see insecurities. There could be a fear of rejection. There's a lack of faith here, but this is really not the time to be lacking faith. I mean, it's also the holiday season. So try to try to boost your confidence. Try to stay in that positive mindset which I know is a lot easier said than done for some of you there's this new friendship or this new relationship that is that is unfolding here it definitely is going to be a slow process for many of you and that that could be for a number of different reasons for some of you I feel like this person may not be around you so uh, for some of you this definitely could be a long distance relationship you may meet this person online and so because it's unfolding very slowly there is this fear of rejection or even a fear of abandonment i'm definitely reading for some of you where you're feeling a little lonesome you're feeling a little lonesome. I think that there's definitely some self, some self care that's in order at this time. You have some cancer energy coming in. So needing to nurture yourself, needing to stay positive and have faith in your dreams, your goals, whatever it is that you want to manifest. So needing to stay in a positive mindset. Now, for some of you, this could be a business partner or uh, for some of you, maybe someone you're working with. There could be a job offer, some sort of financial opportunity that's coming in. But for others, this is, this is growth. You have two threes here in the spread. And so this is all about growth. So something you've already invested in, and for some of you watching this, this is a collective reading for a lot of different people. For some of you watching this, this is a relationship that's growing. But for others, uh, you may have planted some seeds on the financial front, uh, and you're finally seeing growth. You're finally maybe making progress and this has been very slow moving, but I think that this is um, you slowly coming out of a negative frame of mind. Uh, you're slowly kind of coming out of that. Now, some of you, something has left your life and you may have been grieving that loss. For some, it could be a loss of a relationship, but you're finally getting over that. You're finally putting the past behind you, and some of you are loving yourself. Some of you are maybe spending more time with a child or a grandchild. You could be spending more time with a friend, a woman around you. We have this queen of coins here. We have the empress and the queen of coins. So for some of you, a Taurus may be significant. Others, there could be a Capricorn, there could be a Virgo, there could be a Libra. And then I have some water here. We have fire and we have water. So it could be a fire sign. We have strong Aries coming through. And then um, for others, it could be a water sign. Strong Cancer here, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So this could be you and your mother. Your relationship is growing or a relationship with a mother, a mother figure, that could be growing. Now, somebody may be at a distance. This could be your mom. This could be this, uh, this feminine energy. Somebody may be at a distance. Your relationship is growing. Maybe you guys were 
apart or there was some sort of disappointment, maybe misunderstanding in the past and you're actually moving past that. So for some of you this holiday season, you could be forgiving someone or, you know, vice versa. You're putting the past behind you and I see you moving forward. And the three of wands represents, you know, many different things, but it, it is a waiting card. And we have the four of wands here. The four of wands was the first card out. And so for some of you, you're waiting to come together with this person. So maybe you guys are coming together for Christmas or the new year and you're waiting to physically come together. But for others, for others, um, you're seeing a lot of growth. A relationship is growing. So maybe you're talking to this person more. You could be chatting with them more. Maybe you all are coming together here at this time. Others, I mean, this could be for the holidays. This could be within, you know, the next three weeks for some of you. Because we see you celebrating something. Uh, this is a happy occasion here with the Four of Wands. Could be getting together with lots of people. Of course, this could be for Christmas. But in the meantime, I think that this is a time where you're healing, you're letting go of the past. And you're also loving yourself. I see you loving yourself, nurturing yourself here. If you're a parent, you could be spending uh, more time with your family here at this time. Some of you are... Some of you are moving into a new home. If you're not moving into a new home, you actually could be really focused on your home. Maybe you're doing some decorating or some redecorating. Uh, could be decorating for, for the holidays. Preparing for the holiday. Others, I see you really you know, focused on yourself here, loving yourself. Now, some of you are going to be taking better care of yourself. You could be more focused on your health and well-being here at this time. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female. If you are, if you are the masculine, you actually could be loving yourself maybe a little bit more here at this time, more focused on your needs here at this time. Maybe you're doing some, some redecorating. Don't think that just because the feminine energy is showing up here that this is just for uh, the females, not at all. Uh, some of you masculines, you're, go you're going to be more focused on the home, you're going to be more focused on your health and well-being, you're letting go of the past. And some of you are really focused on the future, looking at the long-term future, uh, making some plans. You know, what do you want for yourself? What do you want down the road? What do you want 10 years from now? You're thinking about that kind of stuff here at this time. And that's why some of you could be making amends with somebody, a mom, a female. You could be uh, putting the past behind you. And some of you, you are reuniting. I'm really getting that. Coming together with someone, coming back together with someone, forgiving someone with this energy here. Being more understanding, more compassionate, more loving. And you are planting new seeds with the Empress. You had the star and the magician at the bottom of the deck. You're getting over the past. You're putting the past behind you. You're focused on the new, which is exactly where you should be at with this uh, Sagittarius new moon. We're, we're going into the new year, so it's time to put the past behind us and focus on the future, creating a better future for all of us. And so I really see a connection growing as long as you're patient 
with this person as long as you're willing to nurture this connection. For some of you, this is very nice. I definitely am reading for some uh, coupled uh, people where, you know, this is actually you guys moving in together or maybe you're waiting to do that. Some of you, you could be waiting on moving into a new home. Some of you at this time, you're making a commitment. You could be getting married, but I'm really, I'm really not getting that. Others, um, I see the commitment and I see, I see you planning long term. I really see both of you planning long term. And I see this as being something very beautiful and very stable. Uh, and I see you both thinking about the long term but it is a very little spread I'd have to pull more cards for that but yeah this is beautiful uh, some of you have a financial opportunity that's coming in you could be growing within your career your business could be growing if you're a business owner oh my goodness you definitely could be receiving a lot more business at this time yeah your hard work is paying off. I, I see finances improving. I see finances improving. Such a nice spread. All right, let's pull you some additional guidance cards. This is for the collective. So looking at these collective energy for the Sagittarius, new moon, solar eclipse, All right, so we do have new moon and Aquarius open up to change. I'm just going to show you these. And then we also have last quarter moon and Libra make time for self-love. Look at this. I was going to stick these back in, um, which I still am going to do. If they come back out, I mean, the message is strong. But yeah, be ready for change. Some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, others, a Libra is significant but make time for self-love i mean it couldn't resonate more but i just started to um shuffle these cards let's see if if we get the same message but that that is you know that is very significant for many of you watching this it's a time for you to take care of yourself i see you taking care of others but you also need to take care of yourself some of you you know maybe you need to Take some you time. Some of you could even be in a partnership where, you know, you may be taking some you time and you may actually be with someone who is afraid that you're going to leave them. So maybe you need to um, nurture this connection a little bit more or maybe simply just... Um, maybe put their mind at ease maybe they need a little extra reassurance here at this time that's very specific and that is definitely not for all of you all right what is the message for the collective for the sagittarius new moon So at the bottom of the deck, we do have first quarter moon in Gemini. Speak your world into being. Speak your world into being. Wow. First quarter moon in Taurus. Release control. And then we also have new moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. So here's that new moon energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or with a Virgo. We do have earth energy here. Trust all will be well. Very nice. All right. Let's see. I'm going to pull you an Angel Answers Oracle card for the collective, please. For the Sagittarius New Moon. 
What does the collective need to know? So this can answer a specific question that you may have. Let's get an answer for the collective. Okay, well, there's one. <laughs> That's not necessarily bad. Remember, you need to keep that positive mindset. Let's see if we get any more jumpers. You know, maybe some of you are fearing the worst. You're fearing a rejection or you think your partner and your person, someone is going to abandon you or something like that. Maybe you're thinking the worst and this is telling you, no, you need to stop doing that. No, you're wrong. That is not going to happen. You have, you have the Midas touch whatever you want at this time you can make it happen and so that's why it's so very important that you have a positive mindset okay i always go with the upright these are upright look at this we have take action and there's something better so for some of you, I mean, this could be, no, that's not your person. There's something better. No, that's not your person. But over here, this is your person. Take action. And then for others, you know, no, stop thinking that way. Because some of you, there's like this fear of rejection or abandonment. So really needing to stay positive. Yeah, look at this. We have perfect timing. All right. Let's look at, let's look at career and finances. You have some really positive energy here to work with for those of you that are planting new seeds on the career front. I mean, anything to do with business, finances. As long as you're willing to be patient, you will see growth. All right, looking at career and finances for the collective, please. Yes, wow, look at this. Okay. And I'm just seeing if I'm, all right, led to use any other decks. For those of you where you are dealing with a romantic connection let's just take a look let's take a look at this romantic connection for those of you that are dealing with a romantic connection this is for the collective for the Sagittarius new moon Looking at their love life. Okay. So we do a fairy tale romance. This romance will feel magical. It will be exciting. It will be an exciting adventure and perhaps a happily ever after. This came out with Manic Love. And it says, this will be a deep and intense love that could trigger possessive behavior and make you act out of character. And then we also have settling in love. Maybe you've given up on finding true love and decided to settle for second best. Don't make that mistake. Very interesting. Um, I feel like... Some of you are letting go of a past connection. Now, some of you are maybe letting go of the, a manic love. So if you were in some sort of um, emotionally codependent relationship, maybe you settled in the past. Some of you, I mean, you have the Empress here. You know your worth. Maybe you didn't then, but you do now. And if you were settling in love, I really feel like you're not going to. Some of you do have a fairy tale romance coming in. So take what resonates, leave the rest. 
you could have been dealing with, yeah, because at the bottom here, look at this, we have twin flame. And it says you'll soon meet your twin flame and it may be filled with challenges until you merge and balance your energies. So some of you, you already know who this person is. Maybe, you know, with these twin flame relationships, honestly, they're, they're very difficult. Um, so I'm definitely reading for some of you where you know who your twin is. It's been challenging. Maybe, maybe someone's very controlling. That's definitely not for all of you. Let's see what's underneath them. Protected by love. Your partner will be protective of you, feeling an obligation to take care of you. Just be sure it's not possessiveness. So for some of you, this is maybe right on that line of being um, possessive and just maybe very protective. You may be very protective. They may be very protective. Maybe, you know, it's right on that line there which it is a fine line. And so, yeah, that's that's quite interesting. Okay, okay. Um, let's see what you need to let go of. I want to pull you one of these cards. What you need to let go of at this time? And this is for the collective. And this is why, guys, I always mention to stick around till the end of the reading because I like to pull you guys, uh, you know, several additional guidance cards because, you know, I just think they're very helpful. And so let's see what you need to let go of at this time so you can create that space. Okay. Okay, overcome the desire to tame your wildness. Teach your mind to follow your heart. It could be that some of you, and this is not for all of you, but it could be that some of you are a little possessive. Maybe you're a little controlling. That's not for all of you. Needing to let yourself, um, you know, be wild, live in the moment. Overcome the desire to tame your wildness. Teach your mind to follow your heart. Okay. All right. So we have release control. Yeah, for some of you, this is a control thing. You need to release that control and then trust that all will be well. And you also have the star there. So for many of you, this is a path that you're meant to move down. You need to have faith. Have faith in, you know, higher higher powers because this, this connection is definitely uh, divinely guided. Whether it's romantic or not, uh, you're being spiritually guided. And if you are moving forward in mending a relationship with your mother or a friend, I think you're on the right path. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are now lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your project. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of, of abundance continues. Beautiful. So some of you were previously blocked and you may have actually been uh, quite disappointed quite disappointed prior, but you're getting over that. Now is the right time. So again, you're being divinely guided. You're on the right path. And, you know, oftentimes when, you know, we, we are dealing with challenges, obstacles, uh, you know, interferences, it's because, you know, things have to line up. It, it may have not been the right time prior. And oftentimes, you know, we are 
um, blocked because we're actually being protected. And so um, some of you, you were redirected. Others, it just wasn't the right time. And then we have words of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you will attract for yourself and others. Yeah, so maybe some of you possibly, you know, you may have had some lessons to learn. Uh, you may have even manifested something that wasn't, you know, that wasn't your intention to actually manifest. So that's why it's so very important that you stay, that you try to stay in a positive frame of mind. Your words and your thoughts are so very important. Really try to stay positive. And so you can catch yourself. You know, when your mind starts, starts to drift uh, into that negative place, you can, you can, you know, catch yourself. Try to, at least. But yeah, I mean, obstacles and blockages are being lifted. You are manifesting. You have that um, strong manifestation ability, guys, really. Uh, at this time, trust all will be well. For some of you, you are manifesting a fairy tale romance. Um, and this could definitely be with your twin. But you may need to release control and allow this thing to happen naturally. We have take action. There's something better and a no for some of you. Not all of you will resonate with that. And then overcome the desire to tame your wildness. Teach your mind to follow your heart. This is what you're manifesting at this time. So such a beautiful reading, guys. I'm so happy to see this. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, stay tuned for your December monthly forecast. Those are posting right now. Uh, also, I have the weeklies coming out here in the, ne the near future. So make sure that you are subscribed. Also, make sure that you've clicked the little bell. Uh, if you're not seeing my videos, you may want to unsubscribe and then resubscribe right away and when you do that click the little bell hit all for notifications um i have heard that that works so some of you may want to do that but yeah such a beautiful reading guys i hope that you found it helpful all right guys